An added challenge here. We're all noticing in 2020 that the pandemic is making a lot of things socially awkward. News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen talked with an expert who says some living situations have turned into hostile environments because of the pandemic. An expert says it's important to try and sit down with someone you live with to try to understand their point of view. It is throwing everyone for a loop. Hunter um, Stanfield is an assistant professor of family science at Lipscomb University. When approaching someone about their views on COVID-19 and their habits, it's best to remain calm. So instead of saying, wow, you're really getting worked up about this, chill out, probably not the best initial approach. It may be, I can see that uh, this is really upsetting to you. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? He says trying to understand before attempting to be understood is a good starting place. Am I willing to consider their perspective or their point of view? Or am I just in this to kind of prove them wrong and I'm right and you're wrong? Which in the end gets us nowhere in all of this. So I think those basic things are really important and really critical. If you know why someone's home habits are a certain way, it's possible to compromise. I know some people say compromise is a dirty word. In this case, I think compromise really gets at the fact that I'm wanting to meet with someone or be a part of someone's life as best I can. If the social awkwardness persists, a ton of people are going to therapy to sort it out right now. But I sometimes equate therapy to kind of like taking your car in for the oil change. Sometimes it's good just to go in for a routine tune up. Reporting in Nashville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Thanks, Alexandra. At Lipscomb University actually provides low cost therapy for folks in the community who need it. We have a link with more information on newschannel5.com.